All right, I have successfully removed the heat sink, so we're gonna go ahead and install the SSD. Got that right here. Pause for a moment while we find the right screw. So now that we've removed the heat sink, we wanna go ahead and install this little, you guys can't really see it probably, but it's a standoff so that the SSD lays flat. A standoff is basically just a little spacer. Screws right in there. All right, now let's put the SSD in place. All right, just goes right in here. There's like a little tab that lets you know where to line it up. You just slide it right in. And then we're gonna screw this right into our standoff. Ta-da! Is that supposed to look like that? Now, before we put the heat sink back over the SSD, we do have to remove the sticker that is covering the thermal pad. So we have removed that, now let's go ahead and put our heat sink back on. All right. Next we are gonna go ahead and install our RAM. There is a shorter side and a longer side. On the motherboard, you'll see the shorter side, longer side, so you know what way this goes in. You wanna make sure your tabs are open before you attempt to put this in. Once you've got it in there, just give it a nice push and you will hear two clicks. When you install your second one, you want it to be every other one. And there we go, we've got our RAM. All right, next step is to install the motherboard into the case. All right, so this is the back, if you want the front. Now it's time to put the motherboard into the case. But first we wanna take the sticker off of our IO shield. All right, let's pop this bad boy in. I think we're good. Motherboard is in, now we just gotta screw it down. There's about eight screws, I think. Two more to go. Last one! All right, motherboard is secure. Next, we're gonna go ahead and install our CPU cooler. I'm terrified right now. There are some hooks here, just hook that. And then we wanna hook this on this side. All right, that is in place. Now we gotta pull this tab to the other side to tighten it. I feel like I'm gonna break something. All right, the cooler is in. Now we're gonna go ahead and install our graphics card, but first we have to remove the second and third bracket from the top. this to be so heavy but it's so pretty I'd say it was worth every penny we have a slot here that we're gonna align this with once you've got that lined up push down you hear a click and we got to screw it back together Get a graphics card. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and drop this cover plate. All right, cover plate is down. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the CPU fan. There's little tabs in here that show you how to plug it in. And it's in. Alrighty guys, we decided to move the camera around a little bit because we have made it to the last few steps of the build. I just have to plug everything in, do some cable management, and hopefully we are good to go. 
All right, so let's start by plugging in the rest of the fans. All right, so let's start with this top one. It'll go into these top few pins. There's a little plastic tab that indicates which way to plug it in. It's really hard to see. Pretty little hands, and it's really hard for me to get my hands in here. All right, that one that is secured. And now this one. Same thing. There's a little plastic tab that lets us know which way to plug it in. Fans are in. All right, so for the front two fans, in order for the lighting to work on them, they have to be plugged into this controller. So we're gonna go ahead and do that really quick. And then we have to plug the controller into the last fan header on the motherboard. Next, we're gonna send the front panel controls over to the motherboard. All right, so we're gonna start with this cable, the front panel cable, which is for the power button. You can see on the motherboard right here, it also says panel. You just match up the pins, if you can see. All right, next will be the case audio, which is here at the end of the motherboard. And now we're gonna plug in our front USB ports that is right over here. Next, we're gonna plug the CPU into the power supply. All right, we're gonna go ahead and plug these cables into the eight pin plug for the CPU. You want the two tabs to meet in the middle. Right. These are a little bit tougher because you don't have much cable and you don't have much room and you don't have much light. So this one's gotta go on the further four pins. And this one, on the other four next to it. I think they're good. Next, we're gonna use these two eight pin connectors to plug into the graphics card. All right, so these have plastic tabs that indicate which way this goes in. Pretty easy. And last but not least, we have to supply power to our motherboard. All right, pretty obvious to guess where this one goes. And then there's a tab at the bottom to lock it into place. All right, I'm quickly going to go take care of some cable management here, and then I will get back to you guys with the final product. Many hours later. All the cables have been secured. We're just gonna go ahead and clip off the excess of the zip ties. All right, as you guys can see, I managed to get the computer up and running without blowing it up. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. In our next video, we plan to do a how to install Windows and get everything up and running. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for sticking around for my journey of building my first gaming PC. Please remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified for the next video and I'll catch you next time.